this isn't uh, you know, something that's brand new. This is in terms of being different. Right? We see new assets come, you know, junk bonds. If you take a look 40 years ago when Milken created junk bonds, mm -hmm. you know, it was extremely volatile like we're seeing with Bitcoin today. A lot of people said it was a scam. 40 years later, it's the same as everything else. You know, we think Bitcoin is just going along that same trajectory. Any new asset in its early days are extremely volatile. They're very, nobody knows how to price it. And that's exactly what we're seeing with Bitcoin today. And so that's why you're going to deal with this volatility. But his example of why Bitcoin is very similar to junk bonds and how um, it just takes a while for the marketplace to kind of properly evaluate this stuff. And that's why I really preach diversification because it is really hard to value. And, you know, people love to give advice on altcoins and give, you know, crypto guru, like met, join my group for, you know, crypto advice. But it, it really is long, like most of them are just scamming you. And it's, you could literally just take like a monkey and have the monkey throw darts on, you know, a top 10 list. And it's kind of like that. And that's why I believe in diversification because you really don't know that it's very hard to price this out. It's very hard to know what's going to shake out. And that's why um, I do feel like the biggest advantage in any market, and we see this in the internet, is like the first movers. Now, obviously, AOL fell apart. Um, there, there's plenty of internet companies that did fall apart, but look at Apple, look at Amazon, look at Google, and they're going to dominate for a long time. And I do feel like cryptos are going to be the same way. Um, and like I said, it's hard to pick the winners out of the top 10. So just diversify, and hopefully that will give you at least some insight. And then, like I said, educate yourself. And, uh, you know, with your education, you might want to rebalance your portfolio, not too often, but every once in a while you do want to balance your portfolio and then just buy things that are cheap. I was buying a lot of Ethereum once it got crashed and, you know, Bitcoin dominance has been going up. So, um, I shifted my buys to buying more altcoins and, uh, I've, just look at the trends and do your own analysis as well. But I do feel like you do want to sometimes go against the herd and be a contrarian. But at the same time, a lot of this is just patience. And if you're not a patient investor, just educate yourself and wait. Wait until you are more educated. I think it makes investing a lot easier and going in with a mindset that you're going to be holding for a year. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.